Namaskar. In the last video, we learned how to make a half consonant from the consonants that have a vertical line at the end. In today's video, we will learn how to make a consonant cluster with the consonants that have a tail. In Devanagari script, there are two consonants, ka and pa, that have a tail. The Perso Arabic sounds ka and pa that are made by adding nukta to ka and pa also have a tail. So today we will learn how to make half ka, pa, ka and pa. So let's start. The consonants ka, pa, ka and pa have a tail. When these four letters come as first part of the consonant cluster, they are also cut into half. Their half letter form loses a significant part of the tail. The part shown here in the oval is chopped off and the remaining letter is connected to the next consonant. Let's take some examples. It will be clear with the examples. Here are a few words that have consonant clusters with k, p, k, and f. Kya is the question word what, the interrogative word what. Since k is followed by the consonant y, it will be cut into half. You will write half k. That means you will chop off a big part of the tail and connect it with the next consonant y. And y has long a matra. Ya. So, kya. Next word is hafta. That means a week. The consonant cluster here is ta. So you write her, then half her, then ta with long a. Hafta. The next word is vakt. That means time. The first syllable is v. Then the consonant cluster th, that means you write half th and attach it to th, so vak. The next word is vakya, that means sentence. The first letter v has the long vowel a, va, then the consonant cluster kya. So half ka attached to the next consonant ya, kya, so vakya. The last word is bhak, meaning a devotee. The first syllable is bh, the aspirated bh. Then the consonant cluster kth. So you write half ka and attach it to the next consonant th. Kth. So bhakt. Just like in previous consonant consonant combinations, here too, when the consonant cluster is followed by short e, in other words, when the consonant cluster has the short e, the matra for short e is written all the way before the entire consonant cluster. Let's take some example. It will be easier to follow then. The first word is bhakti, that means devotion. You write bh, then the consonant cluster kth, and the short e. The short e will go before the consonant cluster, bhakti. Similarly, mukti meaning salvation. You write ma as usual with the short u, then the consonant cluster kth with short e, and here again the short e will go before the entire cluster. In this video, we took the consonant clusters with the consonant that have a tail. In the next video, we will take some special consonant clusters that take shape very different from the original consonants. See you there. Namaskar.